Samuel Forsyth was born in April 1891 in the city of Wellington, New Zealand. With the outbreak of the Great War, Forsyth joined up with the New Zealand Expeditionary Force as an engineer and was initially deployed to the Gallipoli Campaign. After being evacuated for illness for a number of months, he was posted to the Western Front after his recovery. As an engineer, he was heavily involved in the construction of roads, strong points, and defences. He saw action in a couple of well-known battles, including Messines and Pachendal. During the Second Battle of Bapalm, he was involved in the events that would lead to him being awarded the Victoria Cross. The citation appeared in the London Gazette on the 22nd of October 1918 and describes the action as follows. For most conspicuous bravery and devotion to duty in attack. On nearing the objective, his company came under heavy machine gun fire. Through Sergeant Forsyth's dashing leadership and total disregard of danger, three machine gun positions were rushed and the crews taken prisoner before they could inflict many casualties on our troops. During the subsequent advance, his company came under heavy fire from several machine guns, two of which he located by a daring reconnaissance. In his endeavour to gain support from a tank, he was wounded, but after having the wound bandaged, he again got in touch with the tank, which, in the face of very heavy fire from machine guns and anti-tank guns, he endeavoured to lead with magnificent coolness to a favourable position. The tank, however, was put out of action. Sergeant Forsyth then organised the tank crew and several of his men into a section and led them to a position where the machine guns could be outflanked. Always under heavy fire, he directed them into positions which brought about a retirement of the enemy machine guns and enabled the advance to continue. This gallant NCO was at that moment killed by a sniper. From the commencement of the attack until the time of his death, Sergeant Forsyth's courage and coolness, combined with great power of initiative, proved an invaluable incentive to all who were with him, and he undoubtedly saved many casualties among his comrades. King George V presented Forsyth's wife Mary with the Victoria Cross in a ceremony that took place in late November 1918 at Buckingham Palace. Following her death and having never had children, Forsyth's medals were inherited by a nephew. They eventually made their way to the Imperial War Museum in 1992, where they remain on display. Forsyth is laid to rest with 69 of his fellow countrymen in the Adenac Military Cemetery in northern France. (laughs) 